Okay, and uh, welcome to this player growth test where I'll be taking a look at Jordan Graham, the 20-year-old life mid at 66 overall. Been requested him quite a bit, so glad to finally get to him now. But uh, pretty solid stats from the start. You can see dribbling uh, pretty high up there and some decent physicals as well. 5'11", left mid, right mid, right foot, and medium work rates, 5-star weak foot, and 4-star skill moves. Uh, so again, you can see a couple of green stats there, and the tactical is dribbling the main one. Uh, crossing is pretty solid as well as some very good curve uh, as as well but we see how he continues to grow so at the end of year one he's going to be end up growing to a 69 overall so some pretty good growth dribbling all the way into the dark green already 81 uh, crossing very solid curves continue to grow and of course you can see the 70 in the free kick accuracy 70 in the ball control also attack position is a bit low uh, I think that's one of the thing that kind of was slightly detrimental I would say uh, to him uh, and he wasn't super agile either uh, unfortunately just going down the wing the straight sprint speed he just always I got hit with the you know the catch up speed all the time when I played him out on the wing and he was a lot more effective me centrally because of that it's kind of weird but that happens to me sometimes just when I'm playing games basically it seems like the the you know, opposing defense just has a ridiculous acceleration, uh, catches up to some of these faster players really easily. But uh, dribbling looking very good now, 75 overall crossing curve into the dark green. The dribbling is pretty high, ball control starting to prove uh, as well. And his finishing is fairly respectable, also. It's just that attack vision is a bit low, again, as I said before. But uh, you see some, uh, quite a few highlights from him, and I just had a lot more success playing as a cam. I don't know what it was. He's not the best passer, and his attack vision isn't that high, um, but he still fared well in that. You can see a good run here now on the touchline, though. It's able to eventually draw a foul, uh, looking pretty solid in those heights. I wish he was stronger um, to go with that height because he has decent height. But unfortunately, he's not super strong or anything. You can see one highlight on the wing, which is I was a bit surprised by, but uh, because most of the time it was on the cam. You see the luck I had. I basically had my touch messed up by my own player. Uh, Brannigan made one of those ridiculous late runs that happens. But you can see some very good dribbling there in this highlight. Um, it's unfortunately I couldn't really like get the final pass I was I was shooting very poorly I just had very I was playing very poorly throughout these <laughs> this batch of players uh, especially regards to the shots and all that which you kind of see especially in uh, this highlights and a few other players I'll be ha having uh, this week we can see some good you know some very good dribbling the Joe did improve a bit later on in his career as well uh, just felt like cutting in uh, into those more central areas seemed to be at his best at times he seemed to do a good job winning the ball and pushing forward cutting back in you can really see the dribbling, it's a little bit of the agility, the, the acceleration, the sprint speed, and all that on showcase here. So eventually that pass was not very good. Um, and you'll see one more highlight, just a little quick spin move and a nice shot that is deflected. But however, he would cap out an 83 overall, age 29, looking very good. You can see a lot of dark green, some very key areas for a winger slash uh, wide midfielder, left mid, right mid. Um, and you can see he got a bit more agile, some really good straight sprint speed, some good balance. He's not very strong is the one thing that kind of sucks. If he had like maybe 55 plus strength and you'd be really overpowered at times he has a speedster dribbler and crosser traits as well and you take a look at his calculations 83 as a winger 81 as a center forward 81 as a cam 83 as a right mid left mid uh, so certainly have a few positions where you can play him at i personally preferred him as a cam uh, i don't know what it was but he just seemed to perform their best for me um but that guys uh thanks for tuning in i certainly think he'd be a great winger for you guys on um, as well as a certainly a very direct cam can really get run at the defenses and make some uh, things happen in that manner. But with that, guys, thanks for tuning in again. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.